Hello dear friends, welcome to another uh, video of the Never Do Through the Week, what you can do through the CLI channel. I am Vangelis and today you will be watching Web API Benchmarking Python Flask vs Rust Arctic Web. So I was re requested to create a video uh, with Python Django but uh, I chose Flask instead of Django because Django was quite uh, convoluted uh, trying to set it up uh, to tell you the truth so I just uh, dumped the idea of using Django but the the, um, the behavior of uh, Django and Flask and Python in general I would uh, think that will be comparable um, so yeah we will go with the, the Flask Okay, so let's uh, see our uh, APIs. This is the Flask API. We have the same data with our Arctic web. As you can see, first name, last name, age, framework, and index. We are returning 1000 users. And this is our Arctic web. Again, we are returning 1000 users. And let me quickly show you the Flask code. We import, uh, we have the main route, we don't care about this, and we have the user's route where we return an array of objects, of user objects. Uh, I just noticed here that I have this which is not needed, so I will delete this and we will rerun our API. So let me rerun the, the API. Okay, let's see that it is still running. Okay, cool. So this is our code. We have our get users function. We just build an array of 1000 uh, user objects. We don't even use a class for it. And we return them to the client. So this is our code. And now we will get into the benchmarking. Uh, so let me get my um, my commands here uh, unfortunately while uh, preparing for this video I saw that regarding the Apache, Apache bands which we will use currently uh, the Python API cannot cope with more than 2,000 requests. Uh, I, I start getting errors and failures. So we will uh, use only 2,000 requests and 1,000 concurrent requests. So we will bench with this setting. This is our system monitor. So this is Flask. We don't have any CPU usage or memory usage which is concerning as you can see. But at the same time we have very low throughput from the system. As you can see, we, we are waiting for quite a substantial amount of time. Our resources are very low. And the system throughput is very low. Let's wait for it. In essence, I can say that uh, Python, as you can see, we failed to acquire even the, the stats. And this happens because I am currently also running the recording uh, program, the o OBS. So let's, tr let's try with 1000 requests and see what happens. Just 
and let's say 500 here and let's see if we can get something out of it okay we got something so let's run the same test let me get this the same command we will run it on the 8083 Actix web. Uh, we're done. Let's let's compare. Uh, document. Uh, concurrency time taken for tests: three point two seconds. Uh, zero point one seconds. Failed requests 0, a request per second 306, uh, request per second 9200, time per request 53 milliseconds, time per request 3.2, 3000, uh, 0.2 milliseconds, so about 3 seconds for each request. Uh, transfer rate nine hundred thousand nine hundred sixty eight thousand seven nine seven uh thirty one thousand kilobytes per second and the last one is uh the milliseconds for uh the percentage of requests served within a certain time and as you can see we have huge differences across the board as you can see unfortunately as you saw this benchmark does not uh, provide us with very with a lot of meaningful data because the system just cannot cope with uh, more than uh, a thousand requests in fact i will try to bump this up to to this number 1.5 thousand and let's see if we will get anything out of it if we don't get any feedback we will proceed with the wrk ah we got a result so let's try this here too Let's quickly recheck with uh, the 1.5 thousand requests. So, 8 seconds here. 8 seconds and 0 0.1 seconds. As you can see, completely the requests. Uh, requests per second, 10,000.5 approximately. Request per second 187. Time per request this amount of milliseconds, 2.5 seconds, let's say. Time per request 47 milliseconds. Transfer rate uh, 18,000, 19,000, let's say. Uh, and here we have, we are in the million, yeah, 1 million kilobytes per second. And let's again check this thing. And as you can see, uh, we have a huge difference in the stats. Yeah. Okay, let's proceed to the WRK. We will start with Flask. And we will say that we will bench with six threads, 1,000 concurrent questions, uh, questions, sorry, connections, and 60 seconds. So let's start and let's check our resources. As I said, I was requested to create a Django video. I don't think that I will created Django video as I said because it was too convoluted to set it up I did set it up but 
a head of education, etc., and I had to go into the code and modify it into uh, in order to make it just a simple API. So I will not do that. Uh, if anybody wants to create uh, a ready project for me to use and create a video, then I will do that, of course, but I will not uh, spend the amount of time that it is needed for me to set it up because as I said they are comparable as the base language is Python we are done so let's go for uh, for the sorry Actix web So we have the same command, six threads, 1000 concurrent connections and 60 seconds. So let's benchmark this. As you can see, the CPU and the memory usage is more than uh, the Flask API. But at the same time, the throughput of the system, as you can understand, is uh, extremely different. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Python does not take advantage at all of the hardware, it seems. If you remember from the last video, the memory usage of Warp would be approximately 20 to 25 megabytes for this uh, test. But I'm still using uh, Actix Web. We are done. So let's compare here. Let me zoom in a little bit. Uh, running one minute. Yes, correct. So latency. Three... 168 milliseconds, 54 milliseconds. Max uh, latency, 2 seconds, 103 milliseconds. Request per second, 68. Request per second, 3000. Max request per second, 232. 3.74k. Uh, total requests, 23,000.7 total requests here 1 million and 64 65,000 20 let's say 24,000 1 million 75,000 2.29 gigabytes red 106.91 gigabytes red socket errors we have uh, 151 timeouts and here we have no errors as you can see uh, request per second 394 request per second uh, 17,000.8 so approximately 18,000 transfer per second 39 megabytes transfer per second 1.78 gigabytes so these are the stats. Uh, I leave the conclusions to you. I don't think that uh, there's any point in uh, uh, in discussing further the the stats, the the results. So yeah, this is the information. I hope that you find this uh, video useful uh, in your future API implementations. Uh, this is all I wanted to share. Thank you for watching and have a great day.